Two victims, one crash in Kent County. 42-year-old principal Tricia Martin and her daughter, 10 years old, passed away over the weekend. Uh, I think the emotions are all over the place. Now, students, teachers, and administrators are working through the sorrow. Well, good evening. I'm Paul Butler. I'm Steve Hammond. Welcome to WBOC News at 6. Yeah, we begin tonight with the emotional impact of a deadly car crash that happened over the weekend. The accident happened at 1040 Friday night on Barrett's Chapel Road in Frederica. Tricia Martin, principal of Milford Central Academy, was driving west on Barrett's Chapel Road when her car went off the road, hit a telephone box, a fence, an embankment also. Martin was flown to Christiana Medical Center where she was pronounced dead. Her 10-year-old daughter, Taryn, seen right there, was in critical condition at A.I. DuPont Hospital. She passed away early Sunday morning. Now the students are back at school today. The emotional wounds are obvious. Our Sussex County Bureau Chief Evan Kozlov joins us outside Milford Central Academy. And Evan, you spoke with friends and colleagues of the mother and daughter. And it's been a day of tears and emotions here. And the centerpiece of it all has been this memorial right here. Literally just now, somebody just dropped another flower. And all day, students, teachers, friends, and colleagues alike, they've all been doing the same just to show their love for people taken far too early. A tribute to the principal and her daughter shows picture after picture. As they often were, according to friends, they're smiling. Trisha Martin on the right and her daughter Taryn on the left. And inside the school, the wounds are still very raw. It's, it's um, difficult to, to walk into the school and look at that office right now. Um, but, you know, I mean, um, as teachers, as professionals, our main concern has to be our students. One of those students is Maya Chandler. She never got the chance to ask Martin her favorite color but says she hopes the yellow and pink flowers in her hands will bring them peace. My friends, they were crying too a little bit about it. Because she, she was a sweet woman? Yeah. Police say the crash happened around 1040 Friday night when Martin lost control of her Acura MDX. The car was sent into a ditch falling on its side. Investigators say that the daughter got out of the car after the accident where she was hit by a vehicle. Sylvia Henderson says she was one of Martin's best friends. I just talked to her Friday night. Uh, so it's, it's just very sad, somber time for us, and our hearts just are bleeding for Taryn and Trish. Pained by the loss, Henderson says she recalls Martin's famous expression, rock it out. If Trish were here right now, she would say, what are you guys sitting around for? Let's, let's just go rock it out. Let's go. And I told the staff that, both staffs, before they left. If Trish were here right now, she would say, let's go. Let's go rock it out. That's Trish. And so they rock it out in the name of two people they'll miss dearly. And back out here at the school behind me, you might see a lot of people heading inside right now. They're here for the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade band. And by the way, these kids were given the option to cancel tonight because of the events, but they said no. They said they were going to go on with it to pay tribute and to rock on. Boarding, and uh, as for that uh, funeral service as well, uh, that's going to be at the Torbert Funeral Chapel in the Dover area. And that viewing will be from 6 to 9 on Friday night. Reporting live in Kent County, Evan Kozloff, WBOC News in Milford.